Welcome back to Better Than Before. I'm Tony Richards. And for our business and leadership lesson today, I thought I'd give you a little review on a book I just finished. Uh, one of my clients actually suggested it as a reading project for his executive team. And I participated because I wanted to lead a discussion on it. And it's called The Dichotomy of Leadership. And the premise of the book is every leader must be ready and willing to take charge to make hard, crucial calls for the good of the team and for the good of the mission. Something much more difficult to understand is that in order to be a good leader, one must also be a good follower. And that is difficult for some people because they have forgotten what it's like to be a follower. But you always need to be able to be comfortable in the skin of your people. Those are my comments. Those are not from the book. The dichotomy between being a leader and a follower is the premise of the book, and that is the dichotomy of leadership. The authors are Jocko Willenick and Leif Babin, and they wrote in their best-selling first book, Extreme Ownership, Simple, Not Easy. And now in the follow-up, The Dichotomy of Leadership, they begin to explain the power inherent in the recognition of the fine line that leaders must walk balancing between two seemingly opposite inclinations. It is with the knowledge and understanding of this balance that a leader can most effectively lead, accomplish the mission, and achieve the goal of every leader and every team, which is being victorious. The thing is, too, they use examples from their combat and training experience in the SEAL teams and then showing how each lesson applies to business and life. And they reveal how the use of seemingly opposite principles, leading and following, focusing and detaching, being both aggressive and being prudent, require skill, awareness, understanding, and dexterity, all attributes that can be honed. One of their main points is that if you want to master this dichotomy of leadership, you're going to have to understand when to lead and when to follow. It's very close to my own philosophy about learning how to lead, learning how to manage, learning how to coach, and learning how to mentor, right? So they've busted it down to just leaders and followers, which is a great principle and, and a great paradigm. They talk about when to aggressively maneuver, when to pause, and when to let it develop and let it play out. Uh, you've probably heard leaders say that. We're just going to relax and let this play out. Well, there are times to do that, and there are times to, to be uh, on the offense and maneuver. Uh, when to detach and let the team run, and when to dive into the details and, and become a micromanager. Micromanaging is not always bad. There are situations that you need to jump in as a leader and take control. I've seen uh, leaders uh, really mess up some companies sometimes because they were too hands-off and they really needed to be hands-on. A couple other concepts from the book. Take extreme ownership of everything that impacts the mission, but at the same time, decentralize the command. And the reason you want to do that is you want to give ownership to the team. So you have to allow the team to be accountable as well as you retaining total accountability for the whole mission, right? Uh, you have to show them that you care deeply about them and their individual success and livelihoods. And at the same time, look out for the good of the overall team and above all, accomplish the strategic mission. So you have to let each individual person know in the way that they can best receive it, how you care about them as individuals, but yet you also have to look out for the whole team. Also, exhibit the most important quality in a leader. We also learn this by reading Good to Great, and that is to have a very strong will, but also have a lot of humility. Uh, being able to be humble and being able to speak up and being able to push back against some decisions that could hurt the team and could hurt the overall mission. Some of these dichotomies are inherent in many of the concepts that were in their previous book called Extreme Ownership uh, and integral to their proper implementation and effectiveness. Dichotomy of Leadership is an essential book for anyone who is looking to lead and to win. And I want to just go through some of the chapter titles with you uh, and let you know a little bit about that. The whole first chapter is about the ultimate dichotomy. 
when to lead, when to follow. Chapter 2 is called Own It All, But Empower Others. Chapter 3 is called Resolute, But Not Overbearing. Chapter 4 talks about when to mentor and when to fire or when to get that person off your team. You know, you can continue to try to mentor an unwilling soul over and over and over and you can continue to be stuck and spin your wheels and there is a time to let go. These guys do a great job talking about this in chapter 4. Second part of the book is called Balancing the Mission. Chapter 5 is Train Hard but Train Smart. Chapter 6 is called Aggressive but Not Reckless. Chapter 7 is called Disciplined but Not Rigid. Very good chapter. I enjoyed that one. Chapter 8 is called Hold Your People Accountable but Don't Hold Their Hands. Uh, And then part 3 is about balancing yourself. Chapter 9 is A Leader and a Follower. Chapter 10 is Plan but Don't Over Plan because you have to make changes and adjustments. Chapter 11 is humble, not passive. And chapter 12 is focused, but detached. And I covered a lot of that in my comments about the book. You should get it. It's called The Dichotomy of Leadership, Balancing uh, the Challenges That We Have in Leadership and Business by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin. It's a really good book. That's our show for this week. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Tony Richards with Better Than Before. Until I talk to you next time, remember, everything gets better when you get better. Thank you for listening to Better Than Before with Tony Richards, a business leaders podcast powered by Clear Vision Development Group. For more resources from Tony, visit clearvisiondevelopment.com. Join us next time for another episode of Better Than Before with Tony Richards.